Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new world record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. Click the subscribe button to follow our adventure around the world. See you later! Good morning world! Welcome back to the channel. It's day number seven on our world record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. Uh, welcome! <laughs> so we spent yesterday um, just trying to catch up with a bit of editing. Uh, we didn't get too much actually done, so we might need to take another day off editing pretty soon. But uh, we managed to at least get the first episode up and on the channel, which is a big success for us. Um, we are staying here in Dunkirk. I'm just going to take you outside. Ooh, look at that. There's a nice lake over there that we uh, had a small walk around yesterday as a sort of like congratulations to ourselves for getting the first video up. But yeah, we're staying at this um, premier class motel in Dunkirk in this little room, our editing suite it's just here. <laughs> and let me show you where we are going to be heading today. So we are here, Dunkirk, after having crossed the channel two days ago. And we are going to be heading straight down towards Paris in the small back roads all the way through the beautiful countryside of France, just coming around the right side of Amiens. And then we are staying tonight here in Compiègne. And Compiègne is hopefully close enough to Paris that we can then shoot into Paris and through on our way south. But uh, yeah, today we have about 143 miles to cover. If we manage to get all the way there today, then it will be our longest day <laughs> yet on the road. Fingers crossed. So yeah, we are super excited and let's go. Let's go. Goodbye. I had a good, good night of rest. You know what? I was just ready to go in English mode. Yes. And then I, I realized that I we're on I this, we're on this side. Oh. <laughs> That's all right. I got it now. I got it. Yeah, you got it now? I don't know. We'll see. Okay. But I was just about to cross over that I was like, oh. there's some cars coming in the same direction that I want to go. That's <laughs> weird. That is weird, hey? That's weird. They must be wrong. Oh, wait, it's me. Oh, there's the <laughs> lake that we walked around yesterday. Don't know if you can see it, but it's there. Goodbye, Dunkirk. Goodbye, Dunkirk. Yeah, it's funny because this morning we found out that Dunkirk, around this area here, they have a very poor um, air uh, quality. Yeah. And we were wondering because I was coughing yesterday the whole the, the whole night, you know, and it's I was like, what's going on? Normally, uh, uh, I don't have any issues like that. And then this morning we checked on Google Maps and we saw there's like a red, red mark over this town here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like everywhere else around is like green. Green or, or at, yellow. Least ye at least yellow. But just this area here, just this town had like a red mark over it and we were like okay <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the reason that the that the room is so cheap and i've got garmin routing us through hopefully all through nice little roads in the back villages through the countryside of france avoiding all the big roads avoiding all the payage that should be a really nice little drive today and guys, before you forget, please hit the subscribe button right now <laughs> to follow our journey. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. You will help us a lot with this following and yeah.
getting in to the deep countryside of France now and there's not a cloud in the sky and it's an absolutely beautiful day for riding through the deep countryside of France I love it and the thing about France is that there's just so much countryside it's really nice because there's it feels like there's a lot more open countryside it feels like there's a lot more space here than in the UK and it's really perfect for motorcycling yeah and you can really see the spring is full on the blossoms are out oh yeah it's nice it's starting to get nice and green Hey guys, just a quick message. If you didn't know already, we are selling our very own t-shirt to help fund our round the world trip. It's called the Overlander and we designed it ourselves. It's got the awesome adventure motorcycle on it and the world of overlanding possibilities around. We absolutely love how it turned out and we hope you love it too. In buying one of these Overlander tees, you will be helping us to get a warm meal, a tank of fuel or a good night's sleep along the way. So all you have to do is click the link in the description to order your awesome adventure t-shirt. Thanks so much guys. Ride safe and we see you you on the road <laughs> it's nice when the Garmin takes us on something a little bit smaller a little bit more intimate uh, than the sort of bigger roads that we've been on so far I think it allows you to see with a bit more intimacy some uh, some little smaller little farm places some smaller little villages so good job Garmin for taking us down some smaller one track lanes that's always appreciated maybe we have to adjust the suspension a little bit more even what make it a bit um, harder yeah maybe yeah yeah we can do it uh two clicks harder if you think it's still bounce to be too bouncy, I think so because it wasn't even like too bouncy the road, no. But I think for this type of road, I'm bouncing a little bit too much, I would say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just stopping for a break in the beautiful French countryside with the sun shining. It's beautiful, and look what we just found on the road, just in front of us, just down there. It's a very. It looks like a very weathered old coin i can't really see anything on it to see what it is but you know if you've ever heard the phrase find a penny pick it up all the day you'll have good luck so we're going to keep it with us as a memento we bought yesterday 500 grams of olives <laughs> because we were so hungry and now today we have just to, to eat them through. I put them in um, asparagus. In the asparagus jar because the other jar was just huge. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have an olive? <laughs> Yummy. Yummy. <laughs> Look at this right road. It's totally winding like a ribbon across the landscape. And you can see all the rapeseed fields. That's amazing. Yeah, they look so nice. Like little yellow carpets around us. <laughs> so we've done about 83 miles already so far today. And uh, what's the time? It's uh, just past one o'clock in the afternoon. So we've done quite well this morning. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we've routed to a Lidl, which is in the town of Corby, which is uh, coming up and it's 12 miles and that will be our lunch break for the day it's always good to have your lunch break at a Lidl because then you know whatever you have for lunch you know it's only going to be a couple of euros so that's good yeah and especially at Lidl here in France they have a nice <laughs> bakery section with fresh croissants fresh baguettes 
So, yeah, yeah. You always have to pick up a croissant, a baguette, and a, a, pa and a pan of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> low budget French patisserie travel tip. <laughs> Little. <laughs> Yay! And my bum is sore, so it's good time to stop. All right. Yes. My bum is sore as well. <laughs> yeah, we need to spend a little bit of time now off the bike. We've had three solid hours. <laughs> it's time for some lunch. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yummy! <laughs> Look, you got a bag of salad. I like salad. I tried to stay healthy on this trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I think pizza and salad count, eh? Salad on pizza. As a good healthy meal? There you go, it's half and half right there. That's lovely. My pizza doesn't have any salad on it. When you have a bike break, it's like the opposite of a normal break. On a bike break, you have to, you have to get up, you have to, you have to walk around, you have to dance around because you've been sitting down the whole time. So. We have to eat standing up. We have to be getting out and about. Because then, otherwise you get really sore bum. <laughs> okay. Yeah? Yep. But I can't really, I don't really know how. What, to like step up and over? Yeah, I'm not sure if that was easier for me or not. I think I can just about. Oh no, can you just about make it? I think I can just about get out by pushing us both. Very strong. I might have run out of space. Oh, Hold shit. on. Let me just put that up. Oh no. I think there's a very slight bump. Do you think you can, like. Wait, one, two, three? Whoopa! One, two, three. <laughs> no, I think I can't. <laughs> Should I go up, uh, yeah. down? Yeah, I think you'll have to. Ready? Yes. So easy when the engine's on and you get going. <laughs> right, we're just gonna fill up our tank whilst we're here in town. Because once you hit the countryside, we don't know how many petrol stations we're gonna pass. Wow, look at this uh, church. Um... The church up there? Yes. Yeah, this is one of those really nice historic towns in the middle of the countryside. Yeah, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Look the same like in the medieval times, I'm sure. Look at that. Yeah, it's beautiful. Wow. I love it. Such a nice building. Yeah, look at that. It's, wow. ma it's massive for quite a small yeah. town. Incredible. And the cobbled streets make it really feel like a rural French town. I just wait for Quasimodo to look out. <laughs> look out from the windows. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Marie here. What is the Marie? Like the town hall. Ah, the town the, hall. The, the Rathaus. So this is our petrol station. What's the price? One euro sixty-eight. One euro sixty-eight. Yep. Well, that's really the <laughs> maximum I can do. <laughs> Last leg for today.
Yeah, look at that. This whole area is full of these like red bricks with white in between. Oh, there's the Marie. <laughs> Hello, Marie. This is a very pretty tree as well. Look at that. Yeah, very pretty. That's a charming little V. The V with a red road running through it. Magnifique. Magnifique. <laughs> en effet. C'est très belle. It's now four o'clock in the afternoon and after 140 miles everything still looks exactly the same <laughs> as when we left this morning. It's the endless countryside of France. I can't believe we can be six hours on the bike and pretty much drive down the same road 500 times. I mean, I'm not complaining. The, the roads are actually really, really beautiful. But anyway, we're getting to the end of the day. We've probably got about 15, 20 minutes left to go before we arrive in, uh, what's it called? Comping, Compiègne, where we've got a hotel called Hotel F1 booked. I can see it, Hotel F1. <laughs> Our home for the next days. Oh yeah. Yep, it's this place right there. <laughs> nice. Perfect. This is quite similar to where we just were. <laughs> it's went from like one sort of motel to the next. Yeah, we are not very good um, hotel vloggers. <laughs> this is not the five star uh, hotel trip, that's for sure. But at least you can see here very nice daisies along along there. the roads so <laughs> that's nice good evening guys we arrived in our beautiful new home for the next two days <laughs> <laughs> yeah and the room is not too bad actually look at this apparently it's been recently renovated <laughs> look at this a lot of inspiration <laughs> Yeah, got all the travel posters there, vintage travel posters, and um, oh, we've got our working desk there for the next few days, so we're already getting started with editing the next episode. Um, so we're here in a town called Compiègne, I think that's how you pronounce it, Compiègne. Um, it's not too far out of Paris. Total journey time was about six and a half hours, um, so I think for us, uh, it was a good test, but I think it was about our maximum that we could probably do at the moment in a day. Especially when we're not taking bigger highways because we wanted to just take all the little roads, but there's only really so far you can get when you take the little roads. <laughs> Yes, but it was a really nice experience. Nice to see the the French uh, countryside. But anyway, guys, we hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and comment and all the stuff below. <laughs> please we do will... all of that. <laughs> we will see you next time.